What's up, family? Welcome back to another video, man. Today, we're going to do something a little different. So we're going to talk about five daily habits that can improve your life right now. Now, we all know New Year's resolutions are coming around because the New Year is only weeks away. And the thing is, man, you want to set all these goals. You want to accomplish all these things going into the New Year. But the reality is you're probably not going to unless you implement these five daily habits that can improve your life immediately. Let's get right into it. Okay, y'all, so the first thing you want to do is stop overthinking. By overthinking, that can lead to second guessing, that can lead to self-doubt, and those are things that are not going to help you get to the goal that you're trying to achieve, right? So whether it's starting a YouTube channel, you know, talking to girls, starting your fitness journey, whatever the case may be, just do it. Think less, do more. That is the key in order to obtain some of these goals. Plan. If you need to plan, write stuff out into a journal the day before so that you can start checking those boxes and execute. You already know the things that you have to do going into the next day. So you can think less about accomplishing a goal and worry more about checking off those boxes. All right, so try it out. That's the first one. Let's get into the next one. I'm going to take a quick break, man, to show you guys my new rice cooker. This is going to help me, man, stay on track of my goals. This is one of the planning things that I do to accomplish my nutritious goals is you want to meal prep. Um, I got some salmon that I'm about to heat up and I got some rice. Uh, we're doing 60 grams of rice um, and six to eight ounces of salmon. I think I only got about six ounces of salmon. Okay, so we're going to eat that, head to the studio, and then I'll give you guys the rest of the tips. Let's go. All right, y'all. So as you know, man, we're still on our fitness journey here. We got our rice and our salmon. We're about to get into this. Then we'll get down to the studio, um, work on a little bit of stuff, and then we'll get into the rest of the tips on what can change your life if you apply them right now. Let's go. Keep mastering. All right, y'all. So we're headed to the studio. About to go get some work done. Um, I got a meeting with Black Fly on the wall, and then we'll get into some more tips and tricks when we get to the studio. All right, let's get there. Keep mastering. All right, y'all. So we're at the studio. And I want to get into daily habit number two, and that's going to be a morning routine. Now, as you guys know, I go to the gym every day. I'm up at 4 a.m., and that's part of my routine. But the key to a morning routine, man, is you want to do things that align you to the habits that you want to achieve for the day. If you're like most guys, you get up in the morning, you scroll Instagram, maybe YouTube, and then you find yourself late for work, and now you have anxiety because you're rushing to get your day started. And that anxiety can carry with you throughout the rest of the day. Now for me, I suggest you find three habits that can jumpstart your morning and help get you on the right path. So for me, I wake up in the morning and I chug a glass of water. What that does for me is it helps with hydration and gets the body ready, revved up and ready to go. And then another thing I do is I make my bed and then I go to the gym. These are three things that I check off in my morning to get me started and get me going. And I think they will help you too. Try them out. Let me know what you think. And let's get in there and get ready to work. And then we'll give you tip number three. Let's go. All right, y'all. So just finished up some work. So the third daily habit that you can stop right now is stop with these false realities. More specifically, stop watching porn. Now, Porn has been scientifically proven to create a false reality, man. And if you guys are going out and you're masturbating, you're not being on your purpose, you're releasing some of the tensions that you can use and repurpose into going after some of your dreams. You're losing that that interest. You're losing that motivation to really go out and accomplish the things that you need to do. So make sure you guys stop with the false realities and get back into your purpose and into your grind. All right, so now that we finished the work, I'm actually about to go grab some food. Your boy's hungry. This is going to be my final meal of the night. I didn't cook, so we're going to head over to the restaurant, and I'll show you guys what I got there. Let's go. All right, y'all. So, you see the V. We're at Kava. Um, I want to get into the fourth tip for you guys, which is going to be read every night before bed. Now, on one hand, what that's going to do is a good book is going to help you be motivated. It's going to help you learn stuff. And on the other hand, it's going to help calm your mind and get ready to put you into a sleep state and get ready for bed. You'll probably go to sleep a lot easier. Now, what the average person does is they're probably scrolling on their phone. They have a lot of light. They're probably watching Netflix or something like that. And then they struggle to get into bed. See, for me, I took my TV out of my bedroom for a while um, because I was struggling to get to bed. And it helps create a better relationship with your bed. So, again, we're going to read 
30 minutes every night. Let's get in here, let's get some kava. Your boy's hungry, and then we'll get to the fifth and final tip. Keep mastering, let's go. All right, y'all, kava secure. I went a little different today. Usually I get the bowl, but today I got the pita wrap. Um, we're gonna try it out, see how it goes. I got the sweet and spicy chicken, extra chicken, add a little extra protein to it. Um, we'll get back to the studio, finish up the rest of the work that we gotta do, and then we'll get into the fifth and final tip that you can apply right now to change your life. All right, key master, let's go. All right, y'all, so back at the studio. You guys see, we got the pita, extra chicken for a little added protein. Get into this, and then we'll get into the fifth and final tip that you can apply right now to change your life. Let's oh, go. Bitch. All right, y'all. So we're finally back at the house. It has been a long day. Uh, I'm going to give you the fifth and final tip, and that's going to be to set concrete goals. So by setting these concrete goals, man, you're going to be able to directly align with the goals that you're trying to achieve. So one way you're gonna do this is you're gonna set out concrete actions that need to be done to get you to where you're trying to go and very definite plans of where you're trying to go. So now do those five things and I guarantee you're gonna have the best year ever in 2023. If you made it this far to the end of the video, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit the thumbs up and hit that subscribe button, man. Join the master family. And as always, I appreciate you. I'll see you guys in the next video. And until next time, keep mastering. Let's go. See y'all.